Distinguished guests and colleagues, good morning. It's December the 3rd, 11 o'clock. And we're beginning the panel session for the defense of the thesis by Joza. The thesis is submitted for the academic degree of the candidate of technical sciences. The specialization is 051311, mathematical and programming support of computers, complexes, and computer network. So the topic of the thesis is the use of virtualization to increase the efficiency of calculations. Under the order issued by St. Petersburg State University as of August 27, I, Andrei Tserihov, Doctor of Sciences in Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Head of the Department of System Programming of St. Petersburg State University, have been appointed the chairperson of this dissertation board. The order approved the candidacies of the members of the, our board. And let me introduce them. First of all, Alexander Dikteriov. Doctor of Technical Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Department of Computer Modeling and Multiprocessor Systems of St. Petersburg State University. The following members of the board are working in remote mode. Yuri Gabrachov, here is he. Doctor of Sciences in Physics and Mathematics, Senior Researcher, Head of the Research Department of the Other Code and Technologies. Do you see us in here as well? Yes, do you hear me? Yes, yes, okay. Vladimir Karinkov, that's me. Doctor of Technical Sciences, head of the IT lab of the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research. So do you hear us and see us? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, Mikhail Gnadic, Doctor of Science in Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the Faculty of Science of uh, Pavel Yosef uh, Safarik, University in Kosice, Slovakia. Uh, good morning. I see, uh, I see you all and I welcome you all. So the answer is positive. And our candidate for the degree, Joza. We also have the thesis supervisor, Professor uh, Alexander uh, Bogdanov. Doctor of Sciences in Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the Department of Space Technologies. And I'm always surprised by the, <laughs> by the title of the department. Uh, the Department of Science Technologies and Applied Aerodynamics of St. Petersburg State University. Oh, sorry, Astrodynamics of St. Petersburg State University. That's quite a complicated title. And dear colleagues, uh, how working in the remote mode in order to improve the quality of our connection, kindly turn off your microphones, but do not forget to turn them on when I go to the floor. And I would also like to inform you that uh, the panel session of our dissertation board is being recorded and broadcast on St. Petersburg State University website, and it is also interpreted into English. Currently, uh, we have an email address posted on the page with live broadcast of the board session. And all listeners can submit their questions to uh, Joza online, the questions on uh, the thesis or scientific discussion. These questions will be forwarded to me by our technical service, and I will read them out during the discussion. Questions must be related to the presentation and the content of the thesis. So do not forget to give your name and position if you submit the question. Questions that have nothing to do with the scientific discussion or dissertation will not be voiced. <laughs> Under the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University, approved by local normative acts, the session of the dissertation board is valid, providing two-thirds of the appointed board members are present. The total number should not be fewer than four people. So everything's OK for us today. Uh, we have all the five members of the board, including three members of the board that are working remotely. We have a multimedia connection with all the members of the board. Uh, so we are watching you, and you are watching us. With us, we have a quorum. Our session uh, should not last more than two hours, and the agenda is as follows. 
First comes the chairman's presentation about the documents submitted by the candidate for the degree and their conformity with the requirements. And chairman's replies to questions, if any, five minutes. The candidate's presentation providing an overview and findings of the research, 15 minutes. Then questions to the candidate regarding the presentation of more than two minutes per each question. The candidate's replies to the questions no more than 10 minutes for all. Reports on the thesis. The members of the board will be taking the floor in turns to provide their reviews. And questions. 10 minutes per speaker. The chairman's report on the thesis, 10 minutes as well. The candidate's comments about uh, the report on the thesis and replies to the questions no more than 20 minutes, so then open discussion. Anyone present at the defense may state their position or ask the questions on the thesis. No more than two minutes for each speaker. And I kindly uh, ask you to fill in out the registration form and introduce yourself before you have the floor. Then the, chairman's, uh, the chairman will ask questions submitted during the broadcasting via our website. Candidates replies to the questions. Presentation of candidates' thesis supervisor no more than three minutes. Then a five-minute discussion before the open balloting on conferring or non-conferring the academic degree. The discussion of the results of the defense are not, uh, the discussion is not broadcast. Then comes open balloting, vote counting and recording of the results in the protocol. Then making a decision on whether to confer the academic degree or not and the candidate's closing speech no more than two minutes. So, distinguished colleagues, any questions or comments on the agenda? No, none. If there are no questions, let us proceed. But before we do that, I kindly ask you to switch off your mobile phones. And I'll switch off my mine. So, thank you very much. So, let me start and the chairman's presentation. My presentation. I better put on my glasses. So, the thesis by Jose for the academic degree of the candidate of technical sciences, specialization 051311, uh, mathematical and programming support of computers, complexes, and computer networks is titled The Use of Virtualization to Increase the Efficiency of Calculations. The thesis was approved for the defense of, by the order of the academic secretary of St. Petersburg State University issued on August 27, 2020. Number is given. Mr. Joza has prepared his dissertation based on uh, State Marine Technical University. Uh, Professor Alexander Bagdanov, uh, Doctor of Sciences in Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the Department of Space Technologies and Applied Astrodynamics of St. Petersburg State University, is the thesis supervisor. Do you work there at this Marine Technical University? No? They invited you. Okay. And by the way, uh, I. Uh, I was a, uh, the vice rector was my fellow student. So the list of eight published works describe the research findings. Uh, they include four papers published in peer-reviewed journals recommended by the Ministry of Education and Science, and no paper is in publications index in Web of Science and Scopus. And the candidate has submitted the full set of documents to the academic secretary. Uh, the above mentioned documents comply with item 12, section 3 of the order. All the documents comply with the requirements and are found in the certification file of our candidate for the degree and the curator of the defense, member of the department of the dissertation board support. Uh, um, 
has all the copies. And before I give the floor to the candidate for the degree, distinguished members of the board, uh, do you have any general questions to the candidate for the degree? And is there a need to voice all the, doc uh, the list of documents submitted? No need for that. Okay. So the short report of uh, the uh, candidate for the degree, 15 minutes. Uh, so, Mr. Joza. Mm -hmm. So you have the floor, please. Uh, uh, good morning, distinguished member or uh, members of the board and distinguished uh, uh, chairman. So I'm going to deliver a report uh, on uh, the topic of my dissertation, uh, the use of virtualization to increase the efficiency of cal uh, calculations. I consider the new methods of the unification of different uh, software products and technologies in order to improve the opportunities of the computational environment. Due to the um, and the variety of uh, computational resources, the, uh, develop, um, the development of operational environment that would improve the efficiency of calculations is becoming more and more important. In order to improve the efficiency of calculations, there is a need to create uh, more efficient distributed uh, computational systems. And in order to uh, to meet these goals, we re uh, need the analysis and the development of methods in, or in order to develop virtual environment, in order to manage the resources in distributed virtual environment and method of the launch of new uh, real uh, applications for system analysis of uh, the productivity of computational environments. And we developed a new approach to uh, the development of operational environment and the new method of integration of technologies. And on this slide, you can uh, see the provisions uh, taken for the defense. Uh, potential acceleration that could be achieved in a parallel processing was widely used uh, by different in different studies uh, by different hardware architectures. The problem was that for clusters, especially networking ones, uh, the uh, network delay is a limiting factor. Therefore, creating clusters, special attention is given to into. Um, to inter internet uh, working. And the first formula here is the AMDA law. It does not take into account the interaction between the processes. And that's quite important here because we did it uh, by a network. And uh, by a network, it takes more time than in general memory. And above all, our system is heterogeneous. And therefore, we recalculated this second formula. We analyze the approach of mathematical acceleration models based on different architectures. In symmetric multi-core chip, uh, we turn on the, uh, 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 the hardware architecture where two or more uh, similar processes are connected to one general memory and are managed with one um, operational system. For uh, heterogeneous architectures, uh, uh, this uh, calculation it does not suit for the test. Therefore, we had to process uh, and develop new, uh, in, um, new the new strategy for this system. So now let's switch to the creation of virtual computational environment. Virtual clusters are created with the help of virtual machines uh, on uh, distributed servers from one or several physical clusters. Virtual machines in a virtual cluster uh, are logically tied between themselves by a network and via several physical networks. And the nodes of virtual cluster could be both physical and virtual machines. On one physical node, one can uh, develop several uh, virtual machines that are working with different operational system. In order to create uh, efficient computational environment, we've chosen different program 
uh, technologies and products, providing uh, uh, the systems of uh, safe access, the system of efficient management by multi of multi-layer resources, and uh, the general image of operation system in order to simplify uh, this complicated cluster management. In order to develop an efficient computational environment, we've chosen Univa Grid Engine uh, to manage the resources, and the MOSES system uh, was used to develop the efficient complex, providing high productivity uh, where the use of uh, load balancing function. Globus Toolkit was used to organize uh, access system. Grid protocols were used to provide uh, safety and uh, data management system and DRMAA program interface was used for the integration of programming products and so on. In order to choose the software, we analyzed practical tests on different computational complexes, that's for example uh, on applied mathematics control procedure, a uh, um, lab, and on our uh, two uh, on multi-core. Uh, Processor Servers Ultra, Spark, and Letty. On this slide, we see the mode of interaction between the components of the developed system. In order to access virtual clusters, the user should be authorized by the uh, program interface GSI, and we can use the system of uh, management of the processes, DRAM, to, for adding, uh, tracking, and uh, uh, a and elimination of the tasks, cancelling the tasks. And here you see the scheme of computational distributed system. In order to manage heterogeneous resources, we've created virtual computational clusters uh, controlled by hypervisor and united computational resources into one computational complex. In order to manage these virtual clusters and resources in this system, we use Univa Grid Engine. But the central problem was uh, the inability to control computational processes and inability to dynamically balance the load between the cluster nodes in order to improve the efficiency uh, during the la launch of uh, simultaneous and multitasking applications. In order to resolve this problem, we introduced a new method that allows us to dynamically balance the load using the um, virtual cluster migration. In order to secure the virtual cluster migration, we created a virtual SMP complex with a unified image of operational system that uh, covers the heterogeneous and distributed character of resources and provides it to users and applications as a unified computational resource. And this system, the distributed file system, is a key component. Our system uh, represents uh, the MOSIX file system that allows us to get access to all local and remote file systems of computational nodes. This allows uh, processes to freely uh, transfer between the uh, cluster nodes in order to balance the load. In order to optimize uh, our work, we created the distributed monitor of virtual uh, machines on SMP clusters based on uh, hardware uh, virtualization. And monitor of the virtual machine is a replacement for all distributed hypervisors on each node. All hypervisors are symmetric, and the main goal of DVMM is to cover distributed um, uh, hardware attributes in order to provide a unified image system of the operational system on SMP cluster and uh, to secure the transparent work in the cluster. In our work, we implemented the, a method of virtualization based on a hypervisor for consolidation and unification of resources. Uh, the unified image system of the operational system is implemented in order to simplify the complexity of cluster and programming management. And our solution exceeds other solutions of SSI and is quite transparent, highly efficient, and uh, quite easy to implement.
In order to have an opportunity to remotely launch and perform programs in this in a computational environment, it should have uh, special GRAM processes because thus you can add, track, and cancel tasks in the system. User interface, uh, user applications uh, form their uh, request to uh, Gram using the resource specification language. And in order to launch the application in the system, they carried out the integration of UGE and GRAM that implement program uh, interface DRMAA that allows us to launch applications in the system using scripts. In order to resolve parallel tasks, we carried out the integration of UGE and Mo MOSIX with additional script packages and um, pitch to library. On this slide, you see uh, the mode of for uh, application launching the system was integrated with Univergrid engine and uh, GRAM that implement uh, DRMAA program interface, and this allows to launch an application in uh, the system using scripts. On this slide, you see how we uh, launch uh, tasks and applications using the DRM, uh, DRMAA interface. On our experiment, the MOSIX uh, cluster was created in the virtual environment. We installed uh, MPI and MOSIX programs and also launched the application to define the delay time in uh, synchronization of MPI processes. We analyzed MPI programming with MOSIX and without it in order to assess the opportunity of parallel computation. Uh, computation tasks in uh, the environment. These tests were carried out under the control of the MOSIX operation system with the use and without the use of uh, the process and migration scheme. After that, we analyzed the um, efficiency of our computational distributed environment. Our system works with real tasks, and we analyzed test examples like ALU tests from NAS package, calculations of open form large package, uh, that's an open package for um, uh, digital modeling of tasks. And we have also analyzed the scientific application crystal in order to prove how our system works with real goals. On this slide, you see the results of our computation and our calculations. The results demonstrate that even complicated tasks with intensive parallel computational processes could be uh, rather efficiently resolved uh, in the implementation of with the implementation of the developed computational environment. On this slide, you see the specific scientific results that we received. Thank you. Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. Any questions to our uh, candidate for the degree after the report? No questions on the report. Okay, no external reviews. Therefore, according to the plan, we have the speeches of the members of the dissertation board. All the uh, reviews were already published on St. Petersburg State University website. Therefore, I offer to uh, read out the basic provisions, the main questions and the main comments. If the members of the board uh, agree with that. Uh, so let's begin. So the members of the board, first of all, uh, Alexander Dikterov, please have the floor. Thank you. Uh, well, as it was already mentioned, I won't read my review out. It is uh, filed out uh, according to all the rules, and I consider all the aspects, all the chapters. So my overall impression on this work um, is as follows. It's uh, um, uh, meets the uh, requirements of the concept that is being developed by Alexander Bogdanov, that is a scientific, uh, that is a thesis supervisor of our candidate for the degree in virtual personal supercomputer. 
Well, this idea was um, emerged 10 years ago, and it switched from a general idea to specific technical implementations. And here we see one of the conclusions, well, technical solutions connected with virtualization. Why do I like it? Because being based on the uh, program approach uh, connected with virtualization and other issues on checkpoint, restart of applications, migration of applications uh, to data, but not vice versa. So we can use it in order to perform specific tasks in the environment that we have and thus resolve the goal that we need to. And uh, we see it from the report of our this, uh, of our candidate for the degree. It proves to be more efficient than application of some ordinary ordinary cluster solutions at the level of hardware. Therefore, my opinion regarding this work uh, that and by the way, I. Um, I monitored uh, the development of Joza's work because I've known him, uh, Joza, for a very long time uh, when he studied at St. Petersburg uh, Marine Technical University in the master uh, on the master course, and after that, uh, in his postgraduate studies, I heard his reports. Therefore, this work was not new for me. But after reading uh, the work itself, certainly I had certain comments. And I won't mention other uh, comments connected with the uh, documentation, with the language, with uh, uh, grammar, and so on, because that's quite clear and uh, obvious. I did not mention that in uh, my comments on work, but from the point of view of some specific um, uh, remarks that I mentioned. First of all, can I have can you please uh, give me the provisions for the defense? Here they are. So in um, uh, this uh, provision for you see the method of improving the safety of the computational com complex. So this phrase is brought uh, for the defense, but in the text itself, text of the dissertation, this is not uh, fully explained and it is not uh, well uh, described what do you understand um, by the safety because that's quite a delicate uh, thing and I believe you should uh, be a bit more accurate in it. That's the first comment. Then in chapter one the author describes well, the thesis um, you know, thesis has a lot of descriptive materials, as any uh, dissertation. On the one hand, it's good, but on the other hand, it seems a bit excessive. And due to that, in uh, Chapter 1, the author mentions CUDA Pro or Pencil Technologies for heterogeneous com uh, calculations, then these technologies are not considered in the dissertation. I understand it quite well that virtualization and virtualization methods are quite convenient to work in hybrid schemes in virtualization of uh, 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 in virtualization we have uh, extensive opportunities. Therefore, uh, talking about Kira and uh, Ampansial is uh, quite understandable, uh, but we don't have it described in the thesis, therefore that's the comment that I had. And the last thing that in Chapter 4, uh, the candidate had analyzed the results, gives the uh, results of 
of OpenMP and UGE analysis on on Ultra Spark T1 cluster. Well, Ultra Spark T1 is well quite an um, outdated architecture, not too old, but it emerged quite long ago. Maybe that's connected with the fact that uh, these calculations and experiments were uh, performed long ago. In this case, it should have been described somehow. So these are the main comments that I had. But regardless of them, I believe that the thesis of Chosa uh, meets the requirements uh, or for the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And I believe that Chosa deserves the academic degree of the candidate of uh, technical sciences. That's it. Thank you. Chosa, uh, do you want to answer it once? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, in our computational system, we used uh, grid security infrastructure uh, that uh, provides asymmetric uh, digitalization from my uh, uh, unified system. In order to enter the system safely, the user should pass their authent authentication via GCSI. In order to use the service of the developed system, uh, the safety of the system means uh, that each uh, computational node of the system should be uh, safely launched by itself. And as for user resources and applications, um, um, Without permission, it's impossible to get access to them. And the um, advantage of our approach is that we use such an architecture of the virtual cluster that uh, does not require some uh, parallel libraries. That's uh, the first point. As for the second question, in uh, my dissertation, I uh, give a description of Qt and OpenCL technologies because I wanted to uh, represent several technologies uh, like uh, the ones that are widely used today, especially in the hybrid computational environment. And we described these technologies as, the com as competing ones, but we also uh, provided new technologies. Uh, that's uh, for the second question. And the third question. We uh, provided the results of UGE and OpenMP analysis on cluster UltraSpark T1. We used uh, all processes in order to model the work on the real system. The thing is that the real parameter that will define the process efficiency and system efficiency is the relevance of the speed of processor to the uh, connection speed. And as we have a rather weak communicator, if we have s weak processors, then it um, actually um, gives us the real situation on a contemporary system. Thank you. Alexander, are you satisfied with the answer? Well, generally, yes. OK. Uh, next comes uh, Yuri Gorbachev. Well, as my colleague Professor Dikterov mentioned uh, my points as well, I was quite pleased with the fact that uh, the candidates managed to efficiently resolve the goals. Uh, these are quite hard uh, goals for um, tasks for computation. And the fact that we got such results that exceed the results of other solutions, this was a bit surprising for me. Therefore, I can congratulate the author of the work. And as for the content, I have two remarks. Uh, 
first of all on the reference list. It has no references to other vendor products that use the virtualization procedure quite widely. Second point is that uh, is the one connected with the testing. The testing was performed uh, in an environment with eight configurations of processes and it got uh, wonderful acceleration. How do you scale it to larger systems? That's what I wanted to understand. Because eight is not the limit, you see, if we want to speed up calculations in uh, real systems, they use much more of these. And how efficient will that solution be? So that's it. So please. Uh, you didn't, do you think that uh, the work complies with the requirements? Yes, certainly it meets the requirements uh, given for such works. And I believe uh, that the candidate deserves the academic degree of the candidate. Uh, okay, so you mentioned all the important uh, words. Okay. So as for the first uh, remark, uh, you know, uh, in my work, I've just chosen the uh, free uh, software in order to reduce the costs, and the overwhelming majority of vendors produce uh, uh, products that you should pay for. So that's the first remark. And the second is that uh, I had no access to the configuration that would allow me to unite more hypernodes. Uh, but in reality, we have theoretical assessments that would allow us to uh, hope that we can uh, scale up up until 20 or 30 hypernodes. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Yuri, are you satisfied with the answer? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, next comes uh, Professor Karinkov. Distinguished colleagues, I read the thesis. The use of virtualization in order to improve the efficiency of computation. Uh, the topic is quite relevant. Because now we see a lot of environments, heterogeneous environments, that use grid technologies and uh, cloud technologies. Uh, Vladimir, a bit louder, if you may. Uh, yes, that's OK. And we also discussed the parallel goals in this system. So in order to create efficient systems that would allow us to create virtual environments for each goals, for each goal. So these goals are quite relevant. These tasks are quite relevant. And here we saw a lot of interesting methodological uh, developments. And also uh, we saw the development of the test system used to perform the tests. And I agree with the comments of the previous speakers that certainly the hardware environment is a bit outdated. Therefore, it was uh, hard to check the scalability. But overall, this issue was already mentioned. So. And therefore, I believe that the work is quite interesting. The results that uh, the candidate received are quite interesting as well. Certainly, I have certain comments. Uh, 
uh, as for my general impressions, the uh, work was written. Uh, this uh, thesis was written quite well, regardless of the fact that Russian is not a, um, a native language. The comment is that when we talk about virtualization, uh, virtualization has adds costs. Therefore, if we talk about configurations of virtualization. We should explain why virtualization uh, sometimes reduces the cost uh, for communication. Second comment is connected with the fact that now a lot of platforms, uh, data working platforms, are used that allow to launch applications simultaneously. And here I would like to ask you to specify why the unification of two platforms increases the load on processors. So I would like to ask you to um, specify here. But still, regardless of the fact, I believe that the work meets the requirements of the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And I believe that uh, Chosa deserves the academic degree of the candidate of technical sciences. Okay, thank you. So, Chosa. Answer the, uh, the communication uh, problem was uh, resolved due to the fact that we create an SMP virtual system and we do not need to use uh, parallel libraries, uh, and the costs are higher uh, than the costs of uh, virtualization here. That's uh, the first comment. The second comment is uh, that Hadoop and Spark uh, are dependent on physical memory because, and as we have certain conditions, we can use and develop virtual memory of any size. But and we can afford to use Hadoop and Spark, but the tests proved to not to be very efficient because Hadoop works on large volumes better and Spark works on small vol volumes. Of data. So, are you satisfied with answers? Yes, okay. Then, Michal Nadic. Uh, good morning once again. Do you hear me? Yes. Well, my goal is quite simple because uh, colleagues uh, mentioned my comments as well beforehand. And uh, what is more, my review was already published. And first of all, uh, as for the goals of the thesis, um, I believe the thesis is quite relevant and has a good practical value. And I would like to draw attention to the fact that the work was also supported by publications, and the credibility of the results is not questions. Then we have the description and the overall impression on the content and on the dissertation is quite uh, good. But there are certain drawbacks uh, with abbreviations, of course, and uh, there are some mistakes in the titles. But certainly, if you consider the fact that if it's that it's not a native language, that is quite understandable. And as for our candidate, I heard his presentation and he speaks Russian quite well. So these are some formal comments. 
here, and overall I have a very good impression on the work. So one of my comments is that uh, our candidate for the degree mentioned the Amdahl formula. Um, and uh, so there's one image that illustrates the scheme. So these are my comments as for general conclusions. I believe these are the comments that uh, the author will answer because he already sent me the answers to my questions. And uh, certainly I also have in my review these words that based on the received results, I believe that the thesis by um, our candidate for the degree complies with the requirements of the order on the procedure of granting academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And uh, sure enough, um, Joza deserves the academic degree of the candidate of technical sciences. In specialization in mathematical and programming support of computers, complexes, and computer networks. That's it. Thank you. Uh, so, Joza, please answer. Well, first of all, I would like to answer that as for the comments on the Russian language, certainly I agree with these comments, and therefore I will answer other questions. Initially, the MTL formula parameters have different physical values, and they are managed by different um, uh, methods. Thus, one parameter is defined by the uh, defines architecture of the system and another one is connected with the speed of connection and the processor speed. Therefore, the impact is independent, although uh, they are included uh, sim in a similar manner. That's the first comment. Second, certainly the parameters depend on the number of uh, processors, but uh, mostly they depend on uh, the uh, relation of uh, speed of processes and um, uh, connection speed. And uh, I give just one typical example in my uh, uh, in my report. So the third is that the previous formula was dealing with. Um, homogeneous uh, systems and today in practice we use heterogeneous systems so this formula is the one that actually works that's it thank you so uh, Mihail are you satisfied with the answer yes I am thank you thank you okay uh, so that's my turn and as I'm the last to uh, comment on the thesis. Certainly it's easier for me. Well, first of all, I would like to uh, comment on the words of Alexander Borisovich that said that the dissertation has a lot of uh, reviews. Uh, so I am a head of the Department of uh, System Programming and I'm not an expert on parallel systems. Therefore, for me, I was quite interested to read uh, this uh, information because for me it was a chance to get acquainted with some new uh, fields. Therefore, I would like to particularly thank the candidate for the degree for taking a chance to um, uh, compile this uh, very good uh, theoretical overview. As for the Russian language, it was already mentioned, but I would like to mention one peculiarity. In your thesis on page 45, uh, the, uh, up until page 45, there's quite a good Russian language. Maybe the editor was quite a uh, good one. And after that, uh, there were some uh, some words that I couldn't even read. So did you get help from someone else? Well, that depends on the situation. Uh, Yes, so it happened that I had to leave to my country to read it, and then I uh, returned to defend my thesis. So, uh, 
Yes, I understand that that's a text written by a non-native speaker, so it was a bit uh, funny, but no more than that. Second comment is a bit more serious. I'll read it out and you answer. In your work, you give a um, detailed overview and comparison of the efficiency of program package and uh, uh, software environment, but all the comparisons are being made based on standard, widely known packages. I would like to see your own personal experience in the resolving of some real goals, for example, the efficiency approval achieved by by the author personally. I would be more impressed with that than the experiments with some link pack package. Yet overall, my conclusion is that these uh, drawbacks do not compromise the high mark that I would like to give to this a thesis, and certainly I will vote for the um, award of the academic degree. But I would like to emphasize Quite frequently, I have to um, I'll be the opponent on different dissertation, and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, I will be working with uh, it more. And I'm a bit irritated by the fact that these there are good studies. And when I was young, you know, they asked me for my personal contribution. What were the goals that you resolved? Uh, independently and now it's more of a comparison of some standard packages but if we talk about the three-dimensional mechanics of uh, uh, environments maybe you would resolve your own uh, problem personally so uh, that's just a comment of the old professor uh, so that's it thank you in our this is we carried out a detailed analysis and comparison of the efficiency of program packages and operational environments in order to define the efficiency of the developed system. We used the link pack uh, because that's a standard task to define the efficiency of highly efficient systems. But for final check of uh, the efficiency, we've taken the results of uh, calculations of open film and crystal programs that are quite uh, uh, popular applications of the University Resource Center. So, yes, at Brisbane State University. Okay, thank you. I'm satisfied with our uh, answer. So, distinguished colleagues, any questions to our candidate for the degree? No questions. Okay, um, dear members of the board, are you satisfied with the answers? So, please say yes if you are. Yes? 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 Okay. Dear colleagues, does anyone present uh, ha have questions? No, I see no questions. And no external questions were submitted for Chozo. So the answers were satisfactory. We were satisfied with them. So now I give the floor to the su thesis supervisor. Alexander, please tell us about the candidate for the degree and his work. Distinguished chairman, dear colleagues, in our work on the paradigm of the virtual personal supercomputer, this work it takes a special place because uh, for seven years we uh, um, uh, seven years we tried to calculate uh, the costs of MPP systems and heterogeneous systems and uh, tried to um, develop a kind of toolkit that allows us to unite everything and to launch everything. And above all, I have such a goal to uh, create a system that would work n uh, not worse but much better. And Tosa uh, was quite a suitable candidate. Uh, to uh, resolve this uh, uh, problem, because if I would take any of our experts that know a lot, they would uh, think that uh, <laughs> that's quite mm, um, a complicated task, and they won't go in for uh, into it. And Josa just started working on the problem, and I was uh, surprised because I didn't even think that you would manage to uh, organize such management in the heterogeneous systems, uh, management of jobs in such a configuration. And 
What's most important is that this idea that you should not uh, move data to process, but you should uh, shift process to data. It allowed us to improve the speed of this system. And indeed, we checked it on LANPAC because that's a necessary thing for standard comparison. And after that, I addressed uh, Valery Zolotaryov and asked what are the most pressing problems that he had, and he gave me two goals. So those were the goals uh, that... Uh, uh, yes, this reference to Valery Zolotaryov uh, uh, describes a lot. No, we just demonstrate the acceleration. We don't describe these goals. And after that, I decided that I quite satisfied uh, with his work and... Uh, 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 therefore, uh, I believe that uh, Joe really achieved good results because uh, he could not initially even imagine the scale of the problem, and now he returns to his country that faces a very important problem of automation of uh, state service that could, should be performed on old equipment. Therefore, uh, the, the fact that he worked on uh, a bit outdated equ uh, equipment will help him a lot in his country. So, distinguished colleagues, as we uh, have this session where the members of the board, uh, some of them are working remotely, and some of them are working remotely, I would like to ask once again if you have any questions that uh, you would like to draw attention to. No? No questions. Okay. I believe that we all got all the answers to our questions. So now the question to the members of the board. Now I have an opportunity to discuss uh, everything in a secret man. Do we need this uh, secret balloting? No, I believe not. What about you? Yes, we do think as so as well. Yes, we can have open balloting. Okay, then we proceed and let's shift to open balloting and uh, so each of you should voice your opinion on the issue so I'll take my list so uh, Alexander Dikterov I vote for the award of the academic degree uh, Yuri Gorbachev I vote for as well uh, Professor Korinkov yes uh, I vote for um, Held Nadich, yes, I vote for as well. And Chairman, that's me, I vote for as well. So we all, uh, all voted unanimously for the award of the academic degree. So we have this open balloting procedure. And I would like to remind you that the decision of uh, the dissertation board on conferring the academic degree is positive, provided more than 50% of the board members uh, voted in favor, and we voted unanimously. So uh, five people voted for, no one voted against, and no one abstained from the vote. So the decision on awarding the academic degree of the candidate of technical sciences is uh, made. The specialization is uh, 051311, Mathematical and Programming Support of Computers, Complexes, and Computer Networks. Dear colleagues, due to the fact that our uh, session is carried out remotely, uh, does anyone have any comments on uh, the organization of our today's session? No? No, no comments. Okay. Then, uh, the finalizing remarks of our candidate for the degree. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank my thesis supervisor and the chairman of the dissertation board and the uh, members of the board and everyone present. Thank you, everyone. So, we congratulate our candidate, Technical Sciences. And therefore, I close uh, the meeting, the, our session, and I kind of ask you to turn off the broadcast.